Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be watching the What's this movie fucking called? Today we're gonna be watching Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. Now, if you don't know about this movie, this movie was kind of like a staple from my childhood, but it also probably set back Asian representation in the film industry by like 10 years. Um, this movie stars Brenda Song. We all know her as the one Asian on Disney Channel and thank God for that. Thank God we had her because without her, where would we be today? I don't know. We all needed stupid Asian representation. Breaking stereotypes, I love that. Now I haven't watched this movie in a hot minute. I literally cannot tell you the plot if I tried. You know what, this, this movie really set off Brenda Song's career. She went from Wendy Wu, homecoming warrior, to the Asian in the social network, to my, the secret, obs wait, what was that movie called that just came out? Like my secret, Obsession? I forget what the fuck. But if they're all supposed to be monks, I don't know why he doesn't have his head shaved. I feel like if they're, if he's like fighting them, like he should have his head shaved too. He doesn't seem like very authentic. Jessica, you're running for homecoming queen. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Though I probably don't stand a chance against you. I'm the one who should just drop out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think that was funny? Okay. <laughs> How about I come up with a nice, catchy slogan for you instead? Like what? Like, um, how about Wendy who? Wendy Wu for Homecoming Queen. Oh my God, do you think Andrew Yang watched this movie to study for his presidential campaign? That's how he came up with the Yang Gang Bang Wang? I bet he watched this. There's no way he did not watch this to study for his presidential campaign. Oh my god, Night at the Museum? Two. Thanks. Ready for this Chinese thing they're doing here? Wait. Huh? What did you just say? Ready for this Chinese thing they're doing here? It must be for this Chinese thing they're doing there. I literally could not tell what he said. I thought he was like, it must be for this Chinese twink we're doing here. And I was like, what do you mean Chinese twink you're doing here? That seems a little bit problematic. It is your time again. Right. It is time. Goodbye. Oh my god, what? Don't be frightened. I am frightened because I don't think monks just have like super speed too. You know what? From this movie, I do remember thinking that I could do all that stuff just because I was Asian, which was not a good thing to think. The things they're talking about, like monks and her Asian descent and her ancestors doesn't really correlate to supernatural like abilities. So like when I was younger, I thought, well, I'm Asian, I'm like Brenda Song, so I should be able to do that. It's like, you should have seen me with that broomstick, bro. I was like, I want a freaking monk to come to my doorstep and tell me I need to fulfill the prophecy because I will do it, I will be ready. Oh, whoa, oh, Doctor Strange. Oh my God, Doctor Strange was based off of Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. Doctor Strange is Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior, but whitewashed. There I said it, there I said it. Bro's got the time stone. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh my God, Wait, I kind of like that. Sound effects are so little. There's so little sound effects. It's just like, phew, phew. and where's the dust coming from? Why is it so dusty? Oh, this is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm like kind of loving this. It's kind of like an homage to like traditional or like old school kung fu movies. And I kind of like that a lot. Do you think the monk thought he was like really pulling like a Jackie Chan? He was like, this is my moment. Like I'm fucking Jackie Chan, I'm fucking Bruce Lee up in this bitch. Oh, you know why they're being quiet? Because she's asleep. That's why there's no, huh, huh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Where did it go? Where did it go? What the fuck? Wait, okay, this is really long. Oh, you always gotta have a pendant. I love a good pendant. Oh my God, the power of Christ compels you, bitch. How the fuck do you not know? You should know this, Grandma. You're supposed to know everything. Especially about my Chinese history. 
Your granddaughter's a warrior. Of course, it's your destiny. That's like the most Chinese thing I've ever heard. It's all about destiny. I do love that in the movie. It kind of like has this like, I don't know. It's kind of more similar to me and how I was raised because the parents aren't um, like first gen um, Asian Americans. Like they're like kind of more trickled down the line so they don't know much about Chinese history. They don't speak Chinese. It's only the grandmother that speaks Chinese. So it kind of like, I kind of could relate to it more because I am like a fifth generation Chinese American. So, but I am a Hapa too. I'm a Hapa girl, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, scary. Every 90 years, the globe weakens, allowing him to break free and possess the bodies of mortals. Oh my god, this is literally it. Oh my god, instead of every 27 years, it's every 90 years. The Chinese Pennywise comes and possesses mortals. Oh my god. Oh my god, watch out, watch out. Oh my god, watch out. Here comes the monk, here comes the monk. He's about to take down the fucking principal. He's about to take down the racist ass principal, jeez. Frank, you all right? No, I'm not all right. I just don't like Asian people and he keeps attacking me. Oh my God, hey, it's Chad. Hey, Austin. Oh, Austin. I don't think so. You know the rules on public displays of affection. She started, Mr. Tobias. Austin. Austin and Wendy walked so Lara Jean and Peter could run. Yes. I got my eye on you, Wendy Woo. I love the rhyme. I got my eye on you, Wendy Woo. I'm finna chew on your boo. Oh. What am I thinking? I can't get an A in world history. I don't know anything about China. Midterms are in a week. There's no way. Why is she just talking to herself? Like you're just walking through a place and you're like, oh my God, I'm failing algebra. And I don't know how to get a A. Oh my God. There's no way I can freaking ace the test. Midterms are in a week and I don't know how to ace my algebra two test. Mm. I like how the first time they didn't use a Chinese ass song, it was for this scene. And it's like a really slow song too. It's like a Grey's Anatomy song. This is the scene I remember. That, her walking on that thing. That's the part I remember. <laughs> Did she fall in love with the monk at the end of the movie? Is it like an enemies to lovers? Cause you know I love a good enemies to lovers. Yeah, I don't think this is a good thing to include in the movie because people in real life, like, do that to you. And like, not like often, but like, I definitely had people come up to me and just like, be like, um, or people asking me if I was Buddhist just because I was Asian. Don't ask Asians if they're Buddhist just because they're Asian. That's weird. What's your mission? Visiting. He's on a mission to visit us. It's a Chinese thing, you wouldn't understand. It's a Chinese thing, you wouldn't understand her. So her dad is what? It's me, I guess, Korean? Oh my, are these mooncakes? What are mooncakes? What the fuck? Does their grandma not tell them anything? Please, I hope you enjoy them. Why are they looking at him like he's crazy? Excuse me. He doesn't like Chinese people? He doesn't like Chinese food? Whoa, why is he so sad about mooncakes? Wait, I don't know why he's so upset. It was just when I saw these mooncakes, it was like I was a boy again. And then I felt guilty that I grew up turning my back on all this. That's so, okay, so he is Chinese. That's why when the grandma was like, it's a Chinese thing, she was kind of like throwing a little bit of shade at him because he was like so Chinese American that he was practically white because he lost all touch with his Chinese culture. I really like that. I feel like a lot of like fifth or fourth generation Asian Americans feel a lot of guilt if they don't know everything about their ethnicity and these like cultural things because they were brought up in America. And I think a lot of it's like mixed kids or fifth generation Asian Americans like feel a lot of guilt about that, which I don't feel like you should feel guilty about it, especially because like, because if you're fifth generation, that means your family has literally been here for like five generations. 
and obviously like you're gonna be really really american because you've just been here for that long so i really like that i don't know why i really like that because i feel like it's a little bit more realistic to how a lot of asian americans are nowadays because um now we're finally at a point where there are a lot of asian americans that have been here for a long time for a while it was like everyone was like fresh immigrants first generation second generation so they still were very attached to um their cultural identity and whatever i feel like there's a lot of asian americans that have like identity crisis because they don't know if they're not asian enough or if they're not like white enough or american enough and they go through this like kind of like identity crisis through life um trying to pick a side especially if they grow up in like say like a really white neighborhood or white area or non-asian area for that matter it doesn't matter if it's white or not it's like when you're growing up you want to push this like asian side of you like in a box and you want to like save it for later but then once you grow up that little box like kind of has deteriorated over time and you kind of lost the root of that type of culture and a lot of asian americans once they get older feel guilty about it because it's like you turn your back on your asian identity i don't feel like it's anything to be guilty about i feel like a lot of asian americans struggle with that like for me i don't speak chinese um i'm cantonese but i don't I don't speak Cantonese, I don't speak Mandarin because my parents don't speak it and my grandparents don't speak it. And like I, a lot of times I felt like weirdly like guilty about it because I felt like, oh, like I'm, you know, Chinese American, like I should be able to speak the language. Most Asian Americans that I talk to, when they say that they're like fifth generation, they always say like, oh, but I'm fifth generation, so I'm practically white. And it's like, no, you're still Chinese, even if you're fifth generation. It doesn't change the fact that you're Chinese. And some coming from someone that's not only fifth generation, but also kind of like a hapa, because what, my mom's Chinese and my dad's like mixed, and because he's like white and then like Hawaiian and like whatever. I just say I'm Chinese and Hawaiian, but like. Yeah. So not only do you deal with like all fifth generation, but you're also like a hapa. So it's like <sighs> identity issues to the max. You know what I'm saying? I just like kind of went off on his like mooncake ramble, but I like really like that scene. Vote for Wendy for homecoming queen. Yeah. Oh my God. He looks straight out of like an old Japanese movie. That's how they style their hair in like Japanese like anime adaptation films. They just like flat iron it out and it's like phew. Phew, phew, like a little Christmas tree. He's Chinese, but he looks hella Japanese right there. What is the name of this taste? Chocolate. What else? Chocolate. Wait, you've never had chocolate before? Well, don't they have it in China? I'm not sure. Huh? They don't have chocolate in China? He's not from fucking Mars. He's from China. Why are you acting like he came from a different planet? He's literally just a bonk from China. This really blurred my, like, understanding of, like, monk. I know it's, like, kind of supernatural, but when I grew up, I, I thought that, like, monks were, like, supernatural. Like, not for long, but, like, when I saw this movie, like, my... Relate, like if I thought of monks, I thought of like the supernatural way and like how the like, magical powers. But really, monks are just monks. I like how they had to find a way to like whitewash this. <laughs> you know, they had to find a way to make it okay for like white people to do this. <laughs> That's the stuff I like to see. Three white people and a Chinese dude training Brenda Song. That's what I like to see. I mean, this is just I'll make a man out of you 2007 version. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same thing, you know? Oh my god, no, this is literally lesson number one, Mulan 2. Oh my god, because she learns the balance in life and stuff. She's like, sound and silence, dark and light. One alone is not enough. You need both together. Winter, summer, spring, and sky. Lesson number one. Oh my god, this is so weird. I fucking hate it. 
I just like there's something I don't like seeing about like four non-Asians like hiya you know like there's something that I don't like about it <laughs> Oh my god, this looks like House of Anubis, and I love House of Anubis so much. I know that's a Nickelodeon show, but it looks like House of Anubis! I don't know why, but in that dress, she looks she looks British, and I don't know how to explain it, but she looks British right there. Oh, I'm going to be homecoming queen, and there's nothing you could do to stop me. The Lord of Darkness commands you- The Lord of Darkness commands you to be awakened, mate. Your yin warrior has betrayed you. I may be alone, but I have the will of many. Hope it's enough to beat these guys. Again, like a white girl, like battling a monk. Like it just seems like a really weird scenario and I like don't like it at all. Like I don't like it at all. Like it's giving me like Tilda Swinton vibes from Doctor Strange and her and her like bald head and like the whitewashing of it all. And I like don't like it. Like it's giving me Scarlett Johansson vibes and I just like don't enjoy it. Like. Are we still monks or teachers here? Monks. Oh. oh, it's the British girl. It's what's her name? Jessica. Jessica's going to beat you up because that's what... She's going to fucking fucking colonize you or something. <laughs> Jessica's going to colonize you, so you better get the fuck out of here. What are you doing here? I knew you would make the right choice. Put on your great-grandmother. What? We have time for this? We have, a, we have time for a costume change? Oh, fuck you. Like, it's like a little too much, you know? Like, it's a little too much this and this and like this, and I don't like it. Whoa, high kicks, high kicks, high bitch, more like high kicks. Grandma, how about you give a hand to help? Jeez. It looks like you know more than anyone and you're really not helping. What the fuck is that? What the hell? Wait, what? She just killed her. <gasps> I thought everyone already voted you, Queen. And there are things that are more important to me right now. You better hurry if you're gonna get that crown. Uh yeah she's like and that chinese traditional garb is so weird like why would you wear that like it's homecoming you know right it's not like a traditional chinese festival like why are you wearing that like pov the white girl makes fun of you for wearing a traditional <laughs> chinese fit and she's like why would you wear that and then like 10 years later like that white girl's daughter is wearing like a trendy version of chinese traditional clothing to prom and like the whole internet throws a fit about it and we are mad you know we're hoes stay mad one out of three hoes is mad and you are not mad i'm mad she's like the balance of a crane the force of a tiger the speed of a leopard the flexibility of a snake oh my god whoa what the fuck um uh, no wait what did she even do though she's gonna catch him please catch him <gasps> oh my god that's so romantic <laughs> that was a lot of motion blur that was a lot of motion blur on that one there was no need for that much motion blur on just a turn whoa i love that oh my god power duo when oh my god that was so cool. When you and your BF fight off the enemy together. Bella and Edward could never. They really tried that in Breaking Dawn Part 2. But Shen and Wendy kind of showed out. You know, I really hate those mooncakes. I've been eating them for a thousand years. Let's get a cappuccino. Let's go this way. <laughs> That's it. Huh? Well, there was that 
wonderful Asian masterpiece. I still stick by my statement that I feel like this movie set back Asian representation in media by like 10 years. Like, I don't know why it did, but I feel like it had something to do with it because it was just like, I watched it as a child and probably many other non-Asian kids watched as a child. I feel like this movie just gave them so much ammo to make fun of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this movie just was like, here, bully the Asian girl and call her Wendy Wu homecoming warrior every year. Tell her to dress up as it every year for Halloween. She'll love it. I'm not saying I'm like traumatized from it, but I'm just saying like, I feel like this movie really just like opened it up because honestly, now I, I after watching it, now I kind of want to go make fun of some Asian kids. Like, I, I just feel like it's like in my duty to society to start doing it. It just, I don't know. There's like little bits of it where it's like, just make me feel weird, you know? Like something about seeing like white people do like hi ya over and over again. Like it makes me feel like they're making fun of me. Like, and I know that, like, I feel like it's just like this movie was just like making fun of me while I watched it. <laughs> Like I was like, oh yeah, Asian representation. I love watching Asians on screen. And then it was like kind of like making fun of me. <laughs> I feel like I watched it and I feel kind of like bullied after I saw it, you know? Like, and like the final battle being between like the white girl and like the Asian monk, like it's just like, okay, Tilda Swinton, okay, like Scarlett Johansson, like I get it. Like now I know why we have all these things nowadays. Anyways, that was today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I know I don't really do Disney movies, but People were requesting this. A lot of people requested this. I wonder fucking why. <laughs> this was a movie that I remember watching as a child and like feeling weirded out by it and feeling not totally satisfied with it, but telling myself like it was good and that I liked it and like, oh, I love Wendy Wu because it was Brenda Song and because it was Asian and because I, I don't know, I felt obligated to as a child, but you know, I mean that, that was, that's growing up Asian. I'll tell you that. And like, we're taking what we can get at this point. Anyways, that was today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Follow me on all my social medias. Links to them will be in the description box down below, all at T Ka level. Subscribe so you can see more videos from me and turn on the notifications bell as well if you want to be notified every single time I post a video. That wraps it all up for today guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!